<laughs> Alright guys, <clears throat> so first, like in a lot of my other princess makeup tutorials, I always have an inspiration picture with me. So today, I have this one. I will also have it popped on the screen right over here so you guys can kind of see it better. But this was taken by Always Disney Bound on Instagram. I will have her Instagram link down below because she takes such beautiful pictures of the princesses. I mean, look at that one. Um, so this is my inspiration for today for Sleeping Beauty. So first we are going to start off with the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion in Eden. And I'm just going to apply that on the lids, of course. Then I'm going to blend it in with this Real Techniques Beauty Spot. Alright, and then to set that primer for today, I'm going to take this brush. I don't know where it's from. I got it in my Ipsy bag. It doesn't say anything on it, so this is what it looks like. And I'm going to be taking the Chasing Rainbows palette by ColourPop, and I'm going to be taking the shade Wiggles. So now that that's all set, I am going to take my Disney Designer Collection palette by ColourPop in It's a Princess Thing, and I'm going to be taking the shade, I'm going to be taking the shade Juju on this brush by Elizabeth Mott, and I'm just going to blend that color in the crease. I'm also going to bring Juju on my outer corner as well. And then with the same Elizabeth Mott brush, I'm going to go back into that Color Pop Chasing Rainbows palette, and I'm going to take the shade Woke and blend that also in the crease in the outer corner. Since this look is kind of turning a little bit more peachy than pink than I wanted it to be, I'm going to take this e.l.f. Um, blending eyeshadow brush, and I'm going to take the page, um, not page, and I'm going to take the shade Manifest It in that ColourPop Chasing Rainbows palette. And I'm going to kind of start focusing that more toward the outer crease and the outer corner. And then I'm going to take this um, brush by Far, and I'm going to take that Wiggles shade on there. And I'm just going to blend out the edges to make sure that everything is blended very seamlessly. And then to add just a slight hint of darkness, and just to kind of make it a little bit more... I don't know. Um, but this look isn't turning out kind of how I wanted it to, exactly like the inspiration picture. So I'm just kind of going more of like how the eyeshadows are blended in that. Um, this is a lot more pink than I thought it was going to be. But it's okay. But I'm going to take the shade Magic Carpet in the Disney Designer Collection palette. And I'm going to take that on this e.l.f. eye crease brush. And I'm just going to kind of really kind of focus blending it downward on there on the crease and toward the outer corner just to add a little bit of depth. And then for the lid shade, I'm going to go with this Eco Tools eye shading brush and I'm going to take my Urban Decay, uh, Urban Decay Naked 3 palette and I'm going to take the shade Strange. And then I'm going to take that Elizabeth Mott brush and I'm just going to kind of blend the crease and stuff again just to make sure everything is nice and blended. To highlight the inner corner and brow bone, I am going to take this e.l.f. smudge brush and I'm going to take the shade Prince Charming in the Disney Princess palette. And then to finish off the eyeshadows, I'm going to take this angled um, eye brush by Eco Tools, and I'm going to take the shade Prism in the Chasing Rainbows palette. And I'm going to start mapping out my eyeliner. Alright guys, so I just did my everyday foundation routine and I have my eyebrows on. If you guys are interested in learning how I did my foundation, I will have my everyday foundation routine video linked down below in the description box for you guys so you guys can check that out. But now I'm going to move on with the rest of the face. So now I'm going to take this Steve Laurent blush in Rose All Day with my Eco Tools blush brush. And I'm going to take my Dream Sequence Highlighting Palette by ColourPop. And I'm going to take the shade Pinch Me. And I'm going to highlight my cheekbones, my brow bone, and my nose with this shade. Alright, and now to set all of that makeup, I'm going to take my e.l.f. Makeup Mist and Set Setting Spray. Now I'm going to take my... 
NYX Professional Makeup Epic Ink Liner in black, and I'm just going to go over those shadows before with the eyeliner and just, you know, line my eyes. This eyeliner is definitely not perfect, but it's fine. So I'm going to let that dry for a second because it does seem super liquidy lately. I don't know why. But a lot of times when I've been using it, it's been like super, super liquidy and it's really hard to control and it's really bothering me. For mascara, I'm going to be using the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise Mascara as always. Let me know in the comments down below which Disney princess you guys would like to see next. I don't have any ideas of who I want to do next. So I'm really curious to know who you guys want to see. And then to finish off the makeup look, I'm going to go in with this lipstick by Clinique in Extreme Pink. And that is it for this Sleeping Beauty makeup look. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to see more videos from me. I post new videos every single Friday. Um, follow me on social media. My Instagram and Twitter are both Emline underscore Rose underscore and my Facebook page is Emline Rose YT. I will have that link down below for you guys in the description box along with all those other videos that I mentioned. Um, I would link in the description box. Let me know which Disney princess I should do next. I really want to know who you guys want to see. I want to make sure these looks are stuff that you guys are wanting to see. Or even a Disney character. If there's a Disney character other than a princess that you guys would want to see, let me know. Because I'm willing to do anything. And I think that's pretty much it for today, so I will see you guys next week. Bye, everybody.